welcome back friends now i have just completed the, the mage seeker insider round and now it's time to take the reward so the reward must be a new power basically so let's see whether i get an epic or rare power so i have already got uh, let's see my existing powers are a vanguard lookout and a rare so the question is should i have another vanguard lookout i mean that's just too much i will reroll it at least once Let's see if I get some other epic or rare. I think the sparring student's good, but um, I'd say if I get uh, first attack on the sparring student, I may be used. It may be useful, but I will just see. So allies have plus one plus zero. Cards should draw cost one less this round when you summon your rival. First, and after having so much rerolls, I need to get something good basically. So where are the epic and the rares, man? Okay, so this seems good. Yeah, this is good because though one costs of one cost uh, reforge spells will basically get duplicated on the low cost ally, so that may be a good spell to have, and it's epic as well. Well, who says no to epics? So. Try reroll token now. Is there anything useful in here? Should I try one? What's this? Spider plus three plus three, but ephemeral. So I guess there is one champion chest item over here. I will just try one reroll, I guess. Let's see. this is good I think combat should uh, protect me against all the enemy sets that are going to be there so hand of Ficarian shield breaker with scout maybe not so much I think this what do I do with the golden basically there is nothing I am going to take. So this is a champion's item chest. I will get something there. Next will be the heal. Because I am going to get the zephyr stage. So I will use one more reroll and see what I get. Place an enemy follower into the enemy deck. When I am summoned I captured the strongest enemy. When I am summoned we will take fallen rider. Yeah, think about it. If I'm able to capture this, I don't know whether if I replace this, does the enemy get freed or I just he gets just replaced out anyways? Because he's replacing. I will purchase this. Let's give it a try. If it comes to that, I will be able to take this. So, so these are the six cards that I have added in this round, which will bring my total cards to forty-two now. I guess my starting hand is going to play a huge role in whether I will be able to win or not. So let's see. So final two battles. If I win, mm, this will be, I mean, I have tried this. As I said, this should be 10th, 11th times. I don't know. I mean, yeah, it should be the 10th or 11th one, I guess, because I have tried this a uh, lot of, lot of times with different strategies. Ooh, this should be one long run. I think this will be my first New Year's run too. Uh, when trying to win this stage since 31st December, I guess. So I will replace this and I will keep these two. Yeah, the Astute Academics good for this round. So he has played that and I will play this. He is not attacking at all, so that's alright. Yeah, so now we'll attack full steam ahead basically. 
let's hope that I get the lurk. So I did not get the lurk. Let's say she knows she's there. So I will play this. This will give plus one plus zero to all my allies. And this quick attack as well. So question is should I play the fleeting one or should I play the one at hand? This I will play no space. Yeah, I will play the fleeting one. Then the quick attacks good. And uh, once I am having lots of them quick attacks up, it will be better in those world. Yeah, let's play this. I think I will have to take some two three damage this round. It seems like. So I will pass here. Should I really do this? I am feeling sad doing this, but seems like I have got no other option but to do this. The game is just uh, too wide right now to not do this. Yeah, I do have the solar keeper on one hand that will save me five damage, but still, it's better doing this. I will just pass here. So I will play this. So these will attack. Do I get lurk? I get lurk. So two, two, two. So at six damage down, which is good. Next I will play. I play Riven now. I will play Riven. Let's see. This is pass. So the soul squirrels out right now. What I will do is this is seven by five with healing. That's not good. It's three by five. This is four. Nothing that damages for five. I mean that's bad. That's just unexpected. I think I will play this. Mm, yeah, let's see. Yeah, so he's playing the soul school. I will defend it here. This is first plus two plus zero. Oh, now he's using it. Let him just have the fun of twelve damage. Won't get any work. Basically, pass it. I hope I get the quick attack. I will put it on B then. So I'm not getting the quick attack yet. The battling ally strike says battling him. So this is for seven. If I'm able to play three cards before I attack, plus two plus zero. Let's say I give it this. Should be copied on that card as well. Yeah. Let's copy on this weakest card as well. So what I shall do now is I will play this. I will play this. I will play this. And I will take this here. So I will say attack now. Okay, that's good. So he's playing the soul squirrel as expected. Next, I will play the whirling blade. So battling ally, battling enemy, and okay. So this should give me a level up plus a five damage right now. Yeah. So this levels up. This does five damage, and then there will be another next attack that I will be able to do for the same. So yeah, this is an a really interesting move that I have just come out so that's good yeah no mind with that that's just seven you can play anything do I have over one yeah I have over one so I'll give an ally over one which will be copied on this as well so this is a bus spell 
I'll give him plus two plus zero that will be copied on the weakest ally as well. So we must level up with you. Mm. Yeah, this game is time pass anyways because I'm going to win in this round basically because both have overwhelmed so there is no stopping the attack as such so yeah that's a really quick end to the match unexpected quick end but still a quick end nonetheless so this means but as you can see I need to have at least V in hand and Grimon in hand as well to get the combo going now it is time for the match against z very difficult match i guess so what's this now so it is a yordling i mean this is just summoning to do nothing else should i do one reroll on this maybe support golden thrush for supporting them let's see the reroll what happens Tuscar. Great Snake Cross. <coughs> this is good. This is good as well. I am Sovereign. Let's get the strongest enemy. Mean the Tusker seems good. For 8 7. This is capture a card. Should I go for capture? I think I will go for capture here. Capturing a Z or capturing 2 3 Zs maybe. So I will get the champion's item now. So certainly it's going to be V. Only this one reroll I have remaining here. So that's a V and that's ancient coin. That's pretty clear. So time for the final match against Z, I guess. This uh, cut a card. So should I cut a card? Forty four cards. 44 cards. Should I cut the Jagged Taskmaster? And that's the only question I have. Or the Rune Weaver as well. Should I cut the Rune Weaver now? I'll just keep them. Let's hope for a better. Yeah. So I will uh, leave here. I already healed anyways, full damage. So this will be the deciding factor whether after trying for so much time whether I'm able to attack or not. I guess uh, so anyway we'll have we'll start with a sword I guess and we'll have one mana extra in me. So the enemy starts with two mana. Well I start I start with just one mana and his Z will be plus four plus four but costs two more I guess that's how it always is so you will replace all these i think should i keep this i will keep the scorch dart i guess should i keep that as well difficult yeah i will replace that i will keep only the veteran investigator for the extra draw okay i have the sword now this is interesting so i will attack here let's see now the attack goes, do I get Lurk? I get Lurk, so. But uh, if I get Lurk, it also means that V is not in the next two cards, so same round here. Next will be the Veteran Investigator that is played. No. So the next will be... I think I will have to discard one of the Veronauts here. I'll put this down here just for defense six. Yeah. So two ephemerals. Maybe I'll pass it here. So what I shall do is I will keep this here and I will play the pick and arrive fully here. So what this will do is this will allow me to Put one more daring poro in to attack next round. So this is the end round here. So I have plus 
for sure. How about the rune weaver? So I will attack. Let's see. This is 6 plus 2. It's 8 damage for sure. And now it is 9 plus 2. So that's 11 damage that I am able to make here. So that's some good damage. Z will not Z will be played in the next turn when he has got the sword. So let's play the investigator once. I get the chariot bar and round here. Yeah. So now this is turning to be very interesting. What should I play now? Should I do pass or should I play something else? So let's say I do pass. What happens then? Where is Sonic again? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's bad. He fought me good this round. Block. Mm, I did not expect him to get challenger. I should agree on that. So let's play the reforge. And let's see what happens now. I'm going to hit for 9 down here. So it's bad. Really bad, basically. So now I will play the Rune Weaver. It's dawn and dusk. Can't do much about that. Do I have a quick attack? I have quick attack here. So what I will do is cut. I won't be able to stop them anyway. So I guess I will have to play Ram at your arrow not down. So. Yeah, so defend this basically. You cannot attack without that. And then I have to go with the quick attack on him. Yeah. Quick attack on him. Now does this count as two? No, this it does not count as two. So I'll play this. And that will be Attack, I guess. Okay. It lets me hit for 4. That's end round now. So I guess I will be able to survive just for one more round, I guess, or two more rounds. I don't know. I'm not going to survive for much. So what we'll do right now is. We will do single combat, this and this, basically, that's it, hope he plays one more thing, yeah, so he plays one more thing, which gives me an opportunity to destroy his Z, which is an extremely lucky opportunity, should I put the Tusker in or should I put the com single combat in now, this is the main question. Tusker is good, 6 damage, I will be able to play him in the next round, let's take the Tusker, let's go for the kill, let's see how he attacks now, he attacked everything, so this will be defended over here, this will be defended over here, and this will be defended over here, basically that is 5 damage to me and 5 more damage, so I will be having 8 health remaining after this round, just 8 more health, uh, can you believe it, so it's really really bad. So let's play this, and that's the end round here, so now let's see how this goes, yeah, so now Now, if I attack here, how will it turn out? If 
I played this for six. What will I put in defense? That's the big question. So he has put this. So what I will do is this is given under prestige two. So I will give him plus two, plus two, basically. Thing is, it is going to be ally on the weakest ally. So now the weakest ally has changed possibly. So weakest ally should be one of these two. So I will grant him overwhelm, which is transformed onto this as well. So my Raven has now. I don't have any mana to use that as such so this will be attack if I win in this attack I am winning if I am not I am not winning this swing has 32 damage there is it possible for me to win I mean if I win like that this is extremely lucky win I don't know is it winning yes I am winning whoa so if you enjoyed this video make sure to like make make really sure to like this video I tried really hard to clear the round and make sure to subscribe to my channel as well. And super exciting video. At long last, I have managed to complete this and truly, I am extremely happy for that. So, once again, requesting you to like the video, requesting you to subscribe to my channel. And I am thinking of trying to do a video showing tips and tricks to clear the levels. I'm trying. I'm using all kinds of different tactics to clear these levels. I'm really tough, almost, almost okay. Yeah. Thanks a lot for watching the video. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot.